Hello everybody, Kidon was in here, and today I will be doing Web Deku Has Bond's Power, Part 28. So, in the last part, Bakugo was basically saved from the League of Villains. Now, continuing the story. After a couple days of training, it would be time for the Provisional Hero License Exam. With Class 1A, having to go to the exam area by bus. And as they get off of the bus, they would still have the same interaction with the other schools. And right before the exam starts, Deku would have told the entire class that everybody there already knows about their quirks and that they should stay together because the other schools would definitely go for them first. But Todoroki, just as the anime, would have left the group. As for Bakugo, he would have tried to leave the group as well, but he would be stopped by Deku. And before he can struggle and yell at Deku for stopping him, it would be time for the exam, with it starting. And just as Deku said, all of the other schools starts by gaining up on Class 1A or UA. Them having to throw those balls at Class 1A. Them trying to take out UA as fast as they can, which would not have worked since Deku would just use Snatch. Him grabbing all of those balls in mid-air and throwing them back at, well, them. This distracting the students from the other schools as Class 1A would have rushed in to take them out, which would have been very easy since Deku would have used Snatch again, him taking the energy of everyone there except for Class 1A. This basically leaving them on the ground powerless to do anything, while the other students of Class 1A would have just chucked their balls at them. As over with Todoroki, the same thing in the anime would have happened. You know, those ninjas sneaking up on Todoroki. And, well, not working. As Todoroki would have passed as well. Now, on to the rescue part of the exam. It being almost the same as the anime. With the exception being Deku is a lot faster at saving people. Since 1. Zero Zain, and 2. Snatch. As after a few minutes, this is when Gang Orca would attack, with Deku just finishing delivering the injured people to well safety. Him seeing Gang Orca arrive, and Taroki arguing with that wind guy, and yes, I still don't know his name. As Deku would have rushed in, telling Todoroki to go back and help evacuate the civilians, or well, the injured people. With Deku running in and standing in front of Gainarka's, well, Gain. Them firing their fake guns at Deku, which Deku just let the bullets hit him, and beating up every single gang member that is in his sight with corchos. Him also taking 80% of every single gang member's energy which he knocked out, or well, knocked down, as after like 20 of those gang members, he would arrive face to face with Gain Orca. Deku swinging corchos towards Gain Orca's head, which Orca would have catch him grabbing Deku by his neck and throwing Korcho's aside, him lifting Deku up towards, well, his head as he tries to knock Deku out with his quirk. But before Gain Orca can use it, Deku would have transferred all of his energy into his right arm. And by energy, I mean the energy he stole, or well, taken. 
him, smashing his right arm into Gengarka's face as hard as he can, which would have sent Gengarka flying back. This also making Gengarka releasing his grip on Deku's neck, allowing Deku to break free. Him landing back on the ground and trying to find his Gorchos, which is about two feet away, with Deku immediately using Snatch, him grabbing Gorchos and jumping forward. And as he was in mid-air, he would have used Vanishing Kill, Deku extending Gorchos and swinging it at Gain Orca, which Gain Orca would have used his quirk to block the attack him deflecting the attack as Deku would have again landing back onto the ground and using physical hunt. Him taking Gain Orca's energy, this making Gain Orca go on one knee. But whenever Deku was about to smash Gain Orca to the ground, this is when Gain Orca's gang members would have interrupted them firing their fake guns at Deku, but these fake guns are different since they do not shoot out rubber bullets, they shoot out cement. Deku being caught off guard, he would have been shot in the back, him being confused since that didn't felt like a bullet. Also, his back is getting heavier him turning around to get shot in the stomach, him looking down to see cement, as he would have been even more confused, him looking back up to see that he is surrounded by Gang Arca's gang members, with them firing more and more cement at Deku, Deku trying to dodge out of the way, but before he can do that, this is when he would have looked down again, him seeing that his legs are in cement as well. And while Deku was being bombarded by cement, Gain Orca would have gotten back up, him grabbing Deku by his neck again and using his quirk, this sent Deku flying back. Deku being annoyed, he would have gotten back up. He would have just said, You guys are so dead him using Snatch again to grab Corchos. After he got Corchos, he would immediately disappear, only to reappear again in front of one of those gang members, him punching the gang member in the face and grabbing his gun. With Deku aiming towards the other gang members, him firing the gun as they would have been encased in cement as well, and while he was firing at the other gang members, he would have taken them out with his corchos, while again taking 80% of their energy, this making the other gang members fall onto the ground exhausted, and not being able to interrupt the fight again. As before Deku can turn his attention to Gang Orca, Gang Orca would have arrived behind Deku him punching Deku in the back and sending Deku flying forwards, him landing on the ground and getting back up, as Deku would have aimed his web cement gun at Gain Orca, him trying to fire cement at Gain Orca to find out that it is out of ammo, him throwing the gun at Gain Orca which Gain Orca would have catched, him breaking the gun in half as Deku would have thrown out Corchos to try and distract Gain Orca, which would have actually worked. This will attack scratching Gain Orca's face, him being confused as Deku would have ran in and throw out his right arm. This hitting Gain Orca in the face and sending him flying back. And whenever he got him back up, Deku would have thrown another punch. Gain Orca seeing this would use his quirk to defend himself. This well working, as Deku would have stopped inches away from Gain Orca's face, Deku being confused since he wasn't the one to stop, 
him throwing another punch at King Orca, which would have stopped Inches from his face again. Deku, thinking that there was an invisible wall in front of him, he would try and break it with his punches. Him sending more and more punches at Gain Orca to try and break through his defense. Him eventually breaking through and whatever he did, he transferred all of his energy into his right arm and throwing it straight into Gain Orca's face. But before the attack can land, this is when the exam ends with Deku hearing the bell ring, or well, the sound that indicates that the exam has ended. Him stopping his attack right in front of Gengarka's face, and transforming his hand back into his original form. Him just basically walking back to his class, while saying, Good fight, Mr. Gengarka, with Gengarka looking behind himself and thinking, you caught this a uh, fight? As he sees the hill that was behind him completely gone. Now the rest would have been the same, except that both Bakugo and Todoroki would have passed the exam, since Bakugo is friendlier than his canon counterpart, and Todoroki would have failed the exam if Deku didn't stop him from arguing with that win guy and yes yes i still don't know his name and that will be the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please like comment and subscribe that will be amazing and i will see you guys in the next video bye